While the summer holidays can be something of a social whirl, it's also a time when friends and family may head off in different directions on vacation. Once they've returned, it may be a good time for you to reconnect and unveil your new avatar to them by throwing a summer dinner party. Chef Dion Vengatas has come up with a deliciously different menu prepared in a truly South African style. Billie Holiday once sang summertime and the living is easy. Well, the living is definitely easy here at Mela as we're about to prepare a summer feast with Chef Dion Bengata. Dion, we meet again. What's up? Good to see you again. Lovely to meet you. Again. What are we cooking today? Okay, we're going to do something with sort of like a dinner, summer party. And what better to, have to do than a braai? Dion, that sounds absolutely divine. My mouth is watering. Please, can we start? Fantastic, shall we? Just want to break the broccoli up into the bowl. Keep them quite whole because we want to char grill them. We don't want to let it fall into the actual braai. Don't you want to pass the olive oil? Yes. You just want to make sure that there's liberal olive oil all over your broccoli. Because when you char grilling it, you want to make sure that that oil heats up. The fat oil then creates this heat space that char grills the actual broccoli and gives you spots of burn pieces, but charred. At this point, we just want to season it with pepper, white pepper again, and then just a bit of salt. And again, liberal with the salt. And then we want to toss this up. Let this sit for a few minutes before we put it onto the grill so that oil sort of soaks into the broccoli and the salt and peppers penetrates through the actual broccoli. So when you're cooking it, you get enough seasoning right through the actual vegetable. Okay, we're gonna go with our potatoes and the fennel now. We get some foil ready for that. Okay, always make sure that the shiny side is on the inside. Why? Because it reflects the steam and the oil and everything that's sort of, all the magic that's happening inside of the foil creates like an oven. That makes sense. So what we're gonna do is grab our potatoes, white pepper, a little bit of salt because we keep it in salt water and seaweed. Then a lot of butter. That is always the most important thing. Just wrap this up lightly. And then we can set this aside. Next for the fennel, put a foil, shiny side inside, and then lay your fennel down. Bit of the olive oil, white pepper and a touch of salt, just a little bit of rosemary, and our favorite, butter. Ah. And then carefully wrap it up. We're gonna make a little basket here because we want it to steam, not chop. Just make sure that it's completely closed and then set this aside in the meantime. Now we're gonna go over to our fish with a very sharp knife. Just give it a quick hone. When you hear that ringing sound, you know your knife is nice and sharp. Okay, one sl slit motion. What I'm doing at the same time is making my portions for when we're gonna flake it out later. Okay. Gently flip it over like it is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and score them. I'm going straight to the center bowl. Just make sure that the flaps open enough. There we go. Over to this side. Then we wanna get the foil. We're gonna go double foil with this now. Again, shiny side inside. And you can place the other one on top. You're gonna get your hands a little bit dirty right now. Butter. Yes! and get it smeared all over that fish. It's already tasty. Oh, that's all you need <laughs> to do. So once you've got all of your butter on, place it onto your foil. Would you mind passing me the pestle mortar? <laughs> yes, chef, chef. We're gonna start off with the garlic in the base, ginger and green chili. Just a touch of salt and then start muddling it. Always very gentle in the beginning and then you can always go a bit rough once you form a base of your paste. Okay. When I make my paste for the fish, I don't like making it too fine because you want to get sort of pieces of garlic and ginger as you eat it. We're looking for this kind of chunky consistency. The freshness from the mm. ginger. Wow, mm. phenomenal. Huh? I got a bit of rosemary here, some parsley, some diced onion and a little bit of mint. And then slowly start smashing these together. Again, very gentle and then go about rough afterwards. We want to stuff this inside of the fish now. I'm not going to leave anything on the outside because I want the outside just to be with a bit of salt and pepper so that we get a nice crispy skin. And then just insert all of this inside of your fish. Whoa, I can taste it already. Okay, could you just pour some of the canola oil inside of this yeah, here for me? There we go. 
get it in there. Just jam it all inside of that fish. Okay, fantastic. Let's just get a bit of lemon. We want to slice it and then put it inside of the actual fish. Oh yeah. Now the best part is to close it up. You just want to start from the belly end where it's open. Okay. So we sort of lock all of those ingredients okay. in if you have a look at it. So we stuff the everything, nothing's coming out of here. Just try to keep the shape of the fish so you can control how you're cooking it so you know where the head is and where the tail is. So we've got a V here so no liquid's gonna fall out. This beautiful fish is ready for the fire right now. Zach, don't you wanna grab the potatoes and the beautiful pocket of fennel and then we can go to the fire and start getting some cooking done. Yes. As I just plunk it on. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna leave this in the center so we can give a bit of space for the broccoli. There you Fantastic, go. thank you. Can you see how nice it's soaked up all of that oil and the salt sort of macerated through? Yes. Because that's what we want. Nice hot grill. Flames coming up, char grilling those little pieces. Oh, no, now we're talking business. People often do veggies in such a boring manner. I know, I uh, don't see why, because, I mean, just a bit of char on it can give it so much flavor, especially broccoli. Oh, I love the smell of the burnt broccoli. It sounds weird, but it smells so nice. <laughs> it does. Zach, can you just get us a mixing bowl, please? Now this is what I was talking about. Crispy bits, crunchy ends, and soft pieces in between. When you're brying, you just want to move your fennel around so you can get even heat distribution and then keep on turning your potatoes on a regular basis. Zach, would you mind getting the skillet pan, sesame seeds, and cashew nuts, please, sure. so we can start toasting them? Thank you. you. Fantastic. Let's get this onto the heat so it can start getting hot. Okay, cashew nuts inside and the sesame seeds. At this point, we can sort of get our fennel out of our steaming pocket. Look at that. I just want to give it a nice light golden brown. We don't want to char really too much because we've done a lot of char on the broccoli. We want an even sort of taste flow through the menu. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Golden brown with a little bit of char. Once it's done, we can put it back into the butter and then take it off the heat. We can check on our potatoes as well. Oh, yes. Look at that potatoes. Look at those golden tans our potatoes have. They're really nice, huh? Just want to sort of cuddle it up, keep it aside. The nuts is almost there. I just want a little light toast as well, so you can release some of its natural oils. And then it's perfect to go. Okay, we just want to get all of this nuts, sesame seeds into a bowl, and then just toss it around in a cold bowl. Zach, just pass the plastic bag, please. Just want to get the nuts inside of the bag so we can crush it lightly. We lucky if you have vacuum bags. <laughs> and then just lightly crush it out. Once we've crushed the nuts, we're gonna actually assemble our salad. And then check on our fish, and then we should be good to assemble our desserts. Voila! Cooking really is therapeutic. It is therapeutic, eh? Nuts in the bowl. We're gonna drop our quinoa into the bowl. I've used white and red quinoa. Parmesan cheese, lightly shaved. And our currants, the sweetness of the currants play really well with the charred bitterness of the broccoli. And then lastly, our broccoli. And we just want to give it a squeeze of lemon and toss it up and then plate it. I don't think I've ever seen a salad look so good. And then to plate up, just literally drop them into the bowl. The aromas of all those flavors, the olive oil, they've come together so beautifully. That's a bit of those crunchy bits and the salty palm was in on top of it. That's a broccoli salad. Let's go to the fish. Oh, those potatoes are perfect. Fennel, spot on. And then let's have a look at this fish. Oh, yep, that's on the money. Looks glorious. Time to plate up. What we want to do is just gently transfer the fish onto the plate. It's so delicate, you just want to push it on. Okay. Always a perfectionist, I love that. And then these beautiful potatoes. Oh yeah. And a last squeeze of lemon over the fish and the fennel, that's it. Dion, my mouth is watering as always. Guess what time of day this is? Dessert. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna make a banana split with lots of sweeties and goodies. Okay, we just wanna break off three pieces of foil, as you can hold it in the air, of the... Cool. So what you wanna do is trim the top of the banana and then just gently cut it down the middle to split it. 
open the skin so it lays flat and then we add all of our goodies inside. So I got a bit of white chocolate. This is very cheeky. Look chocolate. how delicious this all looks. Crunch, which we made with Rice Krispies. A bit of coconut for that light bitterness. And then some little chocolate balls. And then lastly, some meringue shards. I mean, you think banana split and you don't think meringue shards and coconut. No, no, no. Just want to fold it very delicately so it closes the banana. Just make like this little takeaway pocket so it's easy to handle when you're cooking it on the fly. To the grill. To the grill. Once you got it on, you just want to keep it in the center where there's enough heat and then cover it completely. Just close the vent at the bottom and close the vent on top so we create this oven. 10 minutes maximum. You don't want to overcook it. You want the banana to have a bit of texture as well. When we drop that beautiful frozen vanilla ice cream and all of those textures, it's going to eat superb. Okay, there's our ice cream. Let's go and get the bananas, put the ice cream on and we can taste. Feels right, there we go. Oh my goodness, dangerous Dion! Let's get our bowl. Just want to carefully open your banana. Oh yes, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Just want to gently lift it out into the bowl. Get all that melted chocolate on there. And now for the ice cream. This whole summer feast looks divine. Oh, lovely. Let's dig in. I'm going for the char-grilled broccoli. I'm going to go for some potato and let's try some fish. Mm. It is every bit as delectable as I thought it would be. Once again, Dion, thank you so much for spoiling me and our viewers at Mela. It's been an utmost pleasure and thank you for having me again. I'm going to go for the fish now. You have outdone yourself. Wow. Whatever dish is preparing, Dion believes in respecting the ingredients and cooking from the heart. If you've decided to up your game in the kitchen this year, then adopting this as your mantra could make a great start. With summer being the season for socialising, Chef Dion's barbecue trio of broccoli salad, shrouds and banana split makes a great summer menu. And you'll find all the recipes on the Mela Facebook page.